Hi guys, and welcome to this episode of our technical drawing series. Well, today we're going to be learning how to draw border lines and title block. Very, very important. It's the first step in every drawing for every technical student you need to put in place. You need to know how to draw a title block and border lines. And I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you like a very easy, best, and simplified method. If you really want to learn from this video, please smash on the subscribe button below to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright, okay, so let's get it, drawing. We'll start to join our border lines. The first thing you need to do or know when you're drawing your border lines. Border lines is at a distance of 10 mm from the margin, like from the um from the mouth of the paper, less the mouth, or from the edge of the paper. One um one cm or 10 mm. Now watch. This is one cm, okay. So you mark one cm. Same thing here, you mark one cm. Alright, you can do the same thing. So here, you mark one cm. Alright, let's start marking. Then join. Okay, then okay, let's join. Let's join the line. Okay. Alright. So that's for all the examples of this page. Okay. Do this for one cm each. One cm. One cm. And then join. Okay, here too. One cm. One cm. One cm. Okay. And also join. Do the same thing for this last part. Alright. Now after this, we are getting to the main deal of our diagram or of our today's drawing, which is the title block. Okay. Now, as you know, a title block is a block that contains the details of your drawing and the drawer's information. Title block contains the, um, the details of the drawer and the drawers uh, and the drawing information. Now it's usually situated at the right bottom part of your drawing sheet but in there are some let's say there are some um exceptions where you see this title block by the left hand i top one most right or top most left yeah it's correct but ideally it's mostly situated at the um uh, left like bottom left part of your drawing sheet now this is where we're going to be drawing our um title block so I mean bottom right part of our drawing sheet. So this is where this is where we're going to join our title block here. Okay, now title block. Normally it's supposed to have four or five or six, depending on the details you are supposed to put. Okay, but in today's drawing, we're going to be using one of five. It's going to be having five um five columns or five rows. Now you have to measure five cm from. This part, okay. This part from here, measure five cm. This is five cm. That's where I draw it. After measuring five cm, now you come this way to the length. It depends on how long your name is. If your name is long, like Tamno, Somaprie, also Secretary Messer, those long, long names, uh, yeah, then you can make it fifteen. Okay, then make 15. If, if your name is kind of short like John Prosper, you can make it 10. If your name is it's kind of, let's say, middle, like, it depends on how long your name is, okay? So I'll be using my own name. And my name is not that long, so I'll be using 12. It's kind of long, but it's not that long. So I'll be using 12 centimeter, and I mark 12. Okay, this is 12. Now, from this 12 point here, this point here, I'm at 12, you draw a straight line. This line should be um, perpendicular to this line. Normally, you're, you're supposed to use a, um, a set square to do this, but I'm kind of used to it, so it's to be more straight. So this is uh, from this line. You should measure 5 to up 5 cm. Okay. Then after measuring 5, we then join these two points. Okay. And that's for that. Next up, we measure three cm down, three cm down, and three cm up. Okay. And then we join. Okay. Now we have gotten to the most technical part. Now, 
this is my third to block that I'm going to show you something and um, how to draw today. It will be having a what you call lettering lines. This lettering lines will make your work look so beautiful and so neat. Now, watch closely how I will draw these lettering lines. All right, so this is 5 cm. Now, you mark one, let's make it more longer. One, two, three, four, and this is five. Okay, now let's get our lettering lines. Remember, the um, the row lines who is um, symbolize it with a kind of long point, a long dash. Now, for the lettering lines, we're gonna put only a dot. Now, watch. Now this is 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. For lettering lines, you're gonna use 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. Do the same thing so here: 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. And if you look at it, the um, lettering lines are kind of with dots, while the ones are kind of with longer dots or longer dash. All right, so do the same thing too. So this way, measure the um, one more CM out. Longer dash one, two, three, four. Okay, and then 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.8. Okay, now I've done it for the both sides. Up next, we join the this ones with longer lines, like this longer dash. If you check, it's longer, okay? It's longer. So we join them, taking the lines. Use a thick pencil. Okay, pencil on that thick. Make sure you take in the lines yourself. This long, long one. Join them together. Okay. Now that is that. Now for this. Um, the ones that uh, we signify or identify with points or dots, you use a faint line to join them, like a uh, pencil that is not too thick. So join them with faint lines. Okay, faint lines. Faint lines. And faint lines. Do that for all your points. Please, if you have any question, don't forget to drop your questions in the comment section below. Let me know how far you have learned and let me know where you have issues. So we'll be doing this, this for the many free points. Please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe to my channel. To help you a lot. I've gotten many comments and many messages of support from some students thanking me for my videos, how I help them in their exam and so on and so forth. And okay, that's all for now. You can also drop a like on my video. That is if you wish to. Alright, so I'm done. With the lines okay now i'm going to fill in the details of this diagram now the first part is going to contain your name as a student your name um if you're a university student your matric number your department the scale of your diagram and then your date name matric number department scale of your diagram and then your date all right now i'll be showing you how i'm going to be writing using these lettering lines now what with this pencil for name putting it here starting from this spot to this last point none of your lettering should exceed these two lines now this is name and 
a a main this is matrix number so i'll be with it as matrix matrix number okay um department you can also abbreviate it to all my lettering is within this lettering lines departments as a scale and then this is date okay so we are done with our title block um i want to fill in my name so whatever is there you fill in your name here following this pattern of writing fill in your name if you have matric number fill in your matric number your department your skill and your date now as for this skill you might be thinking what is a skill where well, i believe you must have been taught or if you've not been taught i have other videos i, I believe i will it will be dropped on the, on the description section of this video about scaling you can scale let's say if you are drawing exactly how it is on the real diagram one is to one one ratio one if you're increasing the scale let's say to two times one you should two. if you are if you are um if you are so if you are increasing the scale two is to one if you are decreasing the scale two times like and decreasing it by half put one is to two as one ratio two and then you put your dates here i believe so this is how we draw our tight block and our borderline very beautiful isn't it all right thank you guys for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and share my video thank you and see you in the next video bye